In this problem, we're told the rotating blade of a blender turns with a constant angular acceleration 1.5 radians per second squared. A, how much time does it take to reach an angular velocity of 36 radians per second starting from rest? And B, through how many revolutions does the blade turn in this time interval? So before we solve this problem, let's write down what we're given. So what are the different things we're told? So we know the blade is going to have a constant angular acceleration of 1.5 radians per second squared, right? So alpha, or the angular acceleration, is 1.5 radians per second squared. And we're trying to find, for A, how much time does it take to reach an angular velocity of 36 radians per second? So they tell us omega final, essentially, right? Or just omega, you could say, which is the angular velocity. And we know it's going to be 36 radians per second. But what do they tell us what we're starting at, right? So they tell us it's going to be starting from rest. So if this is the final, the initial angular velocity is going to be 0 radians per second because this is what we're going to be starting for, uh, starting from, right? And so we're trying to find the time it takes for this to occur. So I'm going to say time equals question mark because that's what we're trying to find. So how do we solve these problems? So the way we solve these are by using kinematic equations, but they're going to be angular kinematic equations, right, for rotational. So they're just like the normal ones except for you place uh, acceleration with alpha, angular acceleration, velocity with, uh, you put replace velocity with omega or angular velocity, and then meters or just x right the distance in the normal equations right is just replaced with uh, uh alpha or not alpha sorry uh theta right so theta because it's angles now because we're rotating but essentially what we want to do is use those equations to solve and so the equation we're going to use is uh this one right here so we know that omega is equal to omega zero plus alpha times t Right, this is just like the formula v equals v sub zero plus a times t, but with the rotational variables instead. Right, so keep in mind what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the time when it starts from rest. So omega zero is zero, and it's going to this, and then the acceleration is 1.5. Right, so notice that we can just plug this in and solve for t. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to be 36 equals zero, right? So zero plus alpha, which is 1.5 times t. So we can just divide both sides by 1.5, right? So go ahead and do that, do 36 divided by 1.5, and you're gonna get 24. So T is gonna be equal to 24, and the units are gonna be, uh, keep in mind what this is in, right? So this is gonna be in seconds, right? Time is in seconds, because this is radians per second, this is radians per second squared. So it cancels, and then this goes like that, right? So radians per second is going to be the time this takes, right, from it to go from zero to 36, uh, at 1.5 right and so this is your answer to a so the time let's move on to b now so b is uh, through how many revolutions does it the blade turn in this interval so keep in mind we're trying to find a distance here theta essentially right we're trying to find theta the number of times it turns so let me write this in so the time is going to be 24 seconds right from this interval 24 seconds with these variables we're trying to find um uh, we're trying to find theta and so the equation we're going to use for this one is uh, theta equals omega 0 times t times t plus 1 half alpha t squared, right? Just like uh, delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared, but just rotational, right? And so keep in mind, we're, we're trying to solve for theta. We have uh, 0, right? We have omega 0, which is just going to be 0 in this case, right? Or sorry, it's going to be... Uh, Right, so we're trying to find how much it turns in this time. Right, so what is it going to be? It's going to be, uh, yeah, so it's going to be zero. We're trying to find how much it turns during this time. So it's going to be theta is equal to omega zero, which is going to be zero, times t, which is 24, plus one half alpha 1.5 times t squared. So essentially it's just going to be, right, so t is 24. So this is going to cancel. You're just going to have 0.5 times 1.5 times 24 squared. Keep in mind this is going to be 432. So when you solve this, you'll get 432. This is going to be in radians, though. But what we're trying to do is find it in the number of revolutions. So you need to know uh, one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So what this tells you is that, uh, right, imagine this is just over one. We know two pi radians is one rev. So we can just uh, divide it by 2 pi, essentially, and it's going to give us uh, it in revolutions. So go ahead and do that, divide by 2 pi. So if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 68.7549, uh, 
Uh, you can round however you want. I'm just going to round to 68.8. Just do what your teacher wants you to do. But 68.8 revolutions. Right, so this is going to be the number of revolutions it turns during this time interval. Right, so all we did was use this equation, right, we plugged in uh, omega zero because it starts from rest, and then it's going to be accelerating for this amount of time, and then this is going to give us the distance, right, but gave it in radians, so we had to multiply it or divide by 2 pi to get the number of revolutions. But yeah, so 68.8 revolutions is going to be how much it turns during this interval of 24 seconds. So these are your answers, and uh, yeah, hopefully you found this useful.